when we consider life on Earth. I believe many of us would think of animals first, animals such as ourselves and lions and tigers and then perhaps non-mammals such as birds, fish, invertebrates such as insects, etc. Perhaps considering a broader uh, group of living things, we might consider plants and fungi and even things living in our ponds such as algae and protozoans and the like. All of the living things which I have mentioned are made of rather large, complex cells, a type of cell which we refer to as eukaryotic cells. There is another type of cell and another group of living things on Earth. These are the bacteria, which are made of smaller and simpler cells, which we call prokaryotic cells. They lack a nucleus and membrane-bound structures inside and are very small. Here on the screen you see bacteria, prokaryotic cells. Now even magnified more than a thousand times, these living things are barely dots which can be made out on the screen. So these are the simplest forms of life today, these prokaryotic cells. Now these aren't to be underestimated. There are far more prokaryotic cells on Earth today than all other cells combined. Now, not only are these the simplest forms of life on Earth, they also seem to have been the first forms of life on Earth. By that, I mean uh, that fossils of prokaryotic cells of bacteria are known from 3.5 billion years ago. Fossils of larger, more complex cells, eukaryotic cells, occur at the earliest of 2 billion years ago. And so therefore, these prokaryotic cells were the only life on Earth that we have any trace of for the first third of life's history, a billion and a half years. So from about 3.5 billion years ago to 2 billion years ago, planet Earth was alive. However, the only living things were bacteria, such as these uh, seen here. Now there are two types of bacteria alive today the eubacteria, or true bacteria, and the archaebacteria. The archaebacteria are interesting because many of them can only exist in very extreme environments, such as uh, boiling acid baths and extreme depths with you know, great pressure, etc. This group is interesting because uh, the early Earth probably had much more extreme environments, and both comparative uh, microbiological uh, tests and also genetic uh, tests suggest that the earliest forms of life were indeed forms which existed at high extreme temperatures.